the brush tool, drawing group, last icon, directly on screen you can see the size of uh, the brush tip, which is now very small, type in a different size, draw, select a different shape, just like you would draw with a normal brush, and it is directly ready to plot or to print. Click once, you can see a blue dotted line. Use the control key to restrain horizontal or vertical. Select the results, melt them, and you get a nice border. The brush tool itself is more for touch-up jobs. So we will import from the DVD in the folder project files ing badscan01.tiff zoom in as you can see this is a very bad scan a lot of white spaces very wobbly lines so we will now vectorize it choose a preset low resolution black and white drawing a reasonably good vectorization but with a still a lot of holes in it because they were there. It is still a vectorization object. To edit it, convert it to curves. Combine all the loose shapes that are created. Excuse me, arrange, combine. I'm using the short keys, short keys too much. Zoom out. Select the problem spots, say for example uh, this one, there's a large hole in it. Select the brush tool again, make it a smaller size, 0 to 4, another shape, and just fill in the gaps. Here's an ugly gap. This isn't supposed to be like that. Here we got an ugly gap. Here we got one. Just paint like you would normally paint with any normal brush in real life. Not a dirty gap. Zoom out. Select some more problem spots. Just paint over them. Here we got a few ugly spots. We won't do them all. This is the last part we will do. Just draw freehand. So, now we will look in wireframe what we got. We got the original vectorization. We got a lot of spots here, so select them all and press weld convert the weld to curves again and we get a nice plottable object which still needs some work done but I'll leave this up to you